Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm not going to be able to hold the phone like this the whole time because my arm's going to fall asleep, and I look terrible. My, I've like sweat my eyeliner off, and I don't even care. It's been a long day. I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted, and my life just keeps getting more and more expensive right now. <laughs> like all these things just keep coming up. Um, I don't know like if I'm going to go get test candles this time around for fall like I want to but it actually ends up costing me less money to just buy them on Mercari so like even if when I buy them on Mercari someone's selling them for like 23 24 dollars plus shipping it still ends up being cheaper than paying the gas money to actually drive out there uh, plus hotel plus if I go this weekend I have to board the dog because <sighs> My sister's out of town. I'm actually watching Hazel starting tonight, which I'm excited about. My parents will watch Hazel because she apparently doesn't bother their dog that's old and sick with cancer. But they won't watch River because they're too afraid that she's going to try to, like, play with him and, like, hurt him or something. Which I just, I just think my mom's just kind of, like, not into, like, puppies. And it doesn't help that she ate a curtain. So, like, speaking of expensive things, I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram my dog ate a curtain so I don't even know where to begin with this story I don't know what caused it like that's the main thing is I wish I knew why she did it you know like I know she's a very anxious dog and she's like got a lot of anxiety and just I guess that's the same thing as being anxious but you know she's weird I think she was probably abused she's scared of everything she's very skittish but like she's never I've had her for over a year now and she's never eaten anything before she's ripped stuff up like she ripped up a pillow but she's never like ingested anything oh man it's gonna storm I know I need to do digress uh, I knew I know I need to do like an apartment tour I'm waiting for my candle shelf to be finished but I really like my big window here because I can just look outside and I have like all the trees and everything but like there's a lot of wind right now because there's a storm coming in anyway so the other day um, <laughs> I'm walking back inside with River and I'm looking at the curtain like from the outside and it's all tattered up like like the opening scene in Aladdin where like you know it's like you know just like ripped towels and stuff and I'm like what is going on what happened to my curtain and my first thought was that like Josh had his kids over the night the day before and I was like texting him I'm like do you think one of your kids like ripped the curtain in the door and was scared to tell me or something and he was like I don't think so but he asked them and they didn't know and I was like I just can't believe like it would be River but the main thing is I can't find the bottom of the curtain like where is it and I started looking for it everywhere and I couldn't find it couldn't find it and then I didn't even like I didn't even put this together but River had been coughing earlier that day like earlier that day she'd just been like and I was like, do you have kennel cough? Like, where would you get that? Like, I didn't know what was going on, like why she was coughing. And I looked at her and I'm just like, did you eat the curtain? Like there's, I just didn't believe it. I didn't believe it, but I started texting my sister who's a vet tech and she's like, you need to make her throw up. Like it's a Sunday night. So like to take her to the emergency vet, just whoo, but you know, we did the, the we, she's like, give her the peroxide, which I've done that before. I uh, actually, my, parents dog ate one of my old boxers heart medications one time because I'm like tossing into him in a piece of cheese and in swoops my parents fat ass dog and eats it so we had to do it for him you give him a little peroxide they throw up right away and my sister's like you got to do it so it's either that or take her in it's gonna be thousands of dollars you know surgery everything and that's gonna be harder on the dog than inducing vomiting like get it up I didn't I still didn't want to do it because I'm just looking at her and I'm just like, but why would she do that? It just didn't seem right. And then sure enough, though, she vomits up just a chunk of curtain. And I'm just like, I text my sister. I go, this bitch ate the curtain. <laughs> what? I don't, what? It's crazy. Like Josh was like, what? That is it. Why would she do that? You know, he knows her. And it's just like such a weird thing for her to do. And then, so then... Rachel, my sister, is like, okay, 
you've got to like keep doing this you've got to give her food you've got to give her water then you have to roll her over and roll her around she's like imagine like a balloon with a bunch of fabric in it and then you have to like put the food and the water in mix it all around she's like shake 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 that's what she said and then give her more proxy make her throw up again and she's like you have to keep doing this till there's no more cloth in it and so I had to make the dog and like she wouldn't eat because River's looking at me like what are you gonna do to me you know like she knows something's up and my sister's like well damn it you don't have any like meat or chicken broth and I'm like no I don't this is a vegan house I have bread <laughs> like I ended up getting her to eat some bread and then yeah then I had to like force the dog to drink I had, like pick the poor dog up and like roll her over she's peeing on me you know I'm just covered in all the fluids at this point um rolling her around make her throw up more curtain more curtain and I have to piece it together like <laughs> Rachel's like get to the get to the puzzle you gotta piece it together to see if that's all of it or not and at the end of it I only I only like induced vomiting three times she probably puked like seven times and at the very end it was just like nothing was coming up and I'm like okay we're done you know but that was not all of the curtain there's no way that it was and she had eaten it like so much like earlier in the day I think before I realized and so now <sighs> I have to just hope and pray that she passes the rest of it. And so today I got to play the poop detective. Uh, so she pooped only once yesterday and it was like nothing was in it. But today she pooped and I'm like picking for one. I'm like, oh my God, my life. And there was something in it that it almost kind of looked like yarn. And I'm like, oh my God, are you eating the Afghan too? <laughs> Is that that could that's what it looked like but I think it could have been like the curtain like all wadded and twisted up from her stomach I don't know I'm it's just now it's like horrible because it's a holiday you know so it's like Thursday like everything is closed and like Rachel was saying like if she's gonna end up start acting weird and start being in pain it's probably gonna be like towards the end of the week like Thursday or Friday and so I'm like great and my sister is going out of town not like I don't know people at the vet because I do because I used to work there, but they're not going to be able to do it. Like I'm going to have to take her up to like UW Veterinary Hospital in Madison probably if she needs surgery. That's where I'll end up having to go. And it will be like $5,000 or something. So I'm just like, oh man, River, please poop a curtain, please. But I also just, I just don't know why she did it. You know, I'm just so, why you eat the curtain? Why did you do it? Tell me. Were you scared of the fireworks? Do you know what it was? Did the fireworks scare you the night before? So you decided to eat a curtain? Or was it the chipmunks outside the window? Were the chipmunks making you mad that you couldn't get the chipmunks? Was that what it was? Tell them. Tell them why you ate the curtain. I don't know. It was tasty. It was a tasty curtain. Yum, yum, yum. You guys. <laughs> so there's that. And then I guess I'll tell you this too, because eh, why not? I have to, I found out I have to get a mammogram, like my third one. What the hell? It's probably nothing. It's probably nothing, but it's, it's probably expensive. So like I had to have not a mammogram because I was too young, but like an ultrasound back in 20 or er, 2009, because they thought they felt like some thicker, weird tissue and it was nothing. And then in 2013, I had to have both a mammogram and an ultrasound, and it ended up costing me like $900 because I, I didn't have great insurance at that time. And now I have to have one again because it's another thing where she's like, eh, it's just to be on the safe side. Like, it's probably nothing, but it, we always check just in case there's a little bit of a weird spot here. She was real on the fence about it. Like, she was at the point where it was kind of up to me, and she was like, if I had said no, I think she would have been like, fine, she wouldn't have pushed it. But I'm like, ah, fuck it. And then she's like, well, if we're, you know, we only need to do the one side. And I'm like, well, if I'm going in, let's do them both, you know. But uh, it, it, I'm just afraid it's going to be really expensive. Um, I really hope it's, I have better insurance now. I think I have better insurance now. I don't even know. I got to call him. I got to call him. <sighs> so there's that. And so it's just like. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go, like, splurge on candles. Because, like I was saying, it's actually, like, let's say I bought the candles on Mercury for, like, $23, $24 each. And plus shipping. And I bought, like, the four that I'm looking at. Which is, like, 
the peanut butter and jelly, the banana cream pie, the coconut macaroon, and the, what's the other one? Oh, the peach cobbler. Okay, let's say I bought those. It would run me like 110 bucks with shipping. Let's say I drove to Columbus to get the candles. Um, the candles themselves with like, let's say 20% off coupon, but then tax and everything. Okay, like 10 bucks each. So like, it's gonna cost me 40, probably more than $40 to get the four candles, let's say. Now if I go, I'll get more than that, but you know. Gas is 70. <laughs> so right there, we're breaking even with just buying them online. And then you add on top of it, if I go this weekend, I have to board the dog. But I don't think I want to do that. So because my sister is out of town this weekend, that's why I'm watching Hazel. Did I mention that already? I'm watching Hazel. She's coming over tonight. Um, and my parents could watch Hazel over the weekend, but I'd have to board my dog with my dad's cousin who boards dogs. But it's $20 a day. So that would be like another $40. Plus, I just don't think I want to board the dog Like if she might have to go into surgery. Like if she poops the whole curtain tomorrow, if like I see it all <laughs> and everything, and then she's okay on Thursday too, it might be okay. But still it's money and then it's like we go and Josh would go with me so we get a hotel we make a whole night of it and everything and like I don't know that you could really fairly say that the hotel is towards the candle cost because I have driven in and back in one day before you know just got up left at like 5 a.m. on my own drove in bought the candles drove home <laughs> but the gas money for sure um you know and so it's just like I don't know if it's worth it. It's fun. Like, he wants to go. But we, we originally had planned to go on the 13th and 14th, like, the next weekend. So I think maybe I should just stick with that. Uh, but then it's like, everybody has them before you. And then the fun's kind of over. Like, it's fun to get them when everyone is, like, buzzing about them and they're brand new and everyone's talking about them. The flip side of that, though, it's raining now. The flip side is, like, sometimes more come out. So, like, last test candle season, um... Do you guys remember like Angel Food Cupcake and Key Lime Pie came out? And then like a week later, Banana Bunt and Hot Fudge came out and it was like delayed release or something. So I don't know. There could be something like that and it might be better to wait. But I just don't know. Yeah. Because everything is just really expensive right now. If River, if River doesn't need surgery, which let's hope she doesn't, then everything's all good. But it well, nope. <laughs> I mean, I still don't want to be out $900 for a mammogram that I'm sure will come back fine. But uh, the one good thing is that I finally got the rest of the deposit from my landlord. Oh, my God. The shit I had to go through to get my deposit back. I mean, do you know how many times I had to text this woman and how many times she lied to me and told me she was sending it, it was in the mail, blah, 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 and how many excuses she gave me. I've just been busy. I'm sorry. My parents are in town. I'm sorry. I fell at the grocery store. I'm sorry. Like, random stuff. And I'm like, okay, like, that's all great and everything. But, like, all I'm asking you to do is put – it in an envelope and take it to your mailbox at the end of the driveway like I'm not it's not it takes two minutes you know what I mean she didn't have the money but she just lie 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 I finally got it I took it to the bank like she had given me the first portion but not all of it and then I took the second portion Monday morning to the bank so now I'm just crossing my fingers hoping that it clears because we're still not out of the woods yet but then I'll be so glad to just not worry about that anymore but anyway so, um, yeah, what else do I have to say? What else do I want to talk about? Um, I don't know. I guess that's it. I guess I don't have anything else to say. So, uh, I will let you guys go. But, uh, the goal now is just to, uh, poop a curtain. Right, Riff? You're going to make some big poops with some nice curtains in them? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Um... Yeah, so anyway, I will let you guys go, but don't judge me on how I look in this video. I look so gross. It's just like the end of the day, and I don't care. <laughs> but I wanted to pop in and say hi, so thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye.